Alright, good morning everyone. We're back in action. Today we're starting off at Thrift Store. I feel like this has been here a while. Okay, yeah it has. Because it's been here since October. It's currently February. I don't know why it hasn't sold. Makes an awesome like mid-century display cabinet. But got lots to do today. We'll see how today turns out. I know I have to get to the metal yard at some point, but starting off the date with a sweater. We're here at the thrift. We're gonna do some thrifting for the morning ordeal. See if we can find anything we really want. There's radio flyer whack get over there. Let's see what they want here. Only 10 bucks. Not a bad deal. It's not the right color red. It's like a magenta red. There we go. It's a mosh pit. Always shocked with these thrift stores why there's not more stuff out. I know they get donations. This one has a huge dent in it right there. It's not a spout, that is just literally a dent. The whole bottom shelf is empty. Either sales are so great or... Hershey Red Baron. I don't know. Maybe sales are so great they don't have to... Uh, Lansing, Missouri. Oh, more Branson. And Arkansas. Wow, that's going all hand in hand right there. Maybe came out of the whole collection, the same person. But yeah, maybe the sales are so great that we can't keep up. Wow, this must have been really expensive. This is almost like a sweater. It's a spirit jersey, but it's half sweatshirt, half of this, like, pilled stuff. Almost like you see those flannels. It's actually really nice. It's, uh, it's got a nice bubble print. I call it bubble print. I don't know what the actual term is. It might even call it bubble print. It's elevated. It looks really nice. Someone who loves Walt Disney World and wears an extra small. There you go. Have at it. Don't see any artwork, or should I say paintings? When it comes to artwork, that is pretty much the only thing I look for. Obviously, you have limited prints that might be worth something, but mainly I look for just paintings in terms of monetary value, that is. But a lot of them look like just prints. There you go, that's a painting. If you wanted a painting, you got two of them. So it goes like that. All right, there you go. Oh, wow. Starberry shoes. These are just put out today. They are in really good condition. They they look just so poorly made though. That was one thing with Starberry. If anyone remembers Starberry shoes, they actually were sold at a place called Stephen Berry's. And uh, I believe once Stephen Berry's became non-existent, I think it was like 2008, 2009, I assume Starberry's were also probably discontinued they're really, really affordable shoes. But I'm pretty sure the quality aspect is one of the reasons why Starberry and Stephen Berry's kind of just fell off the face of the earth. 
I used to love going to Stephen Berry's. It was really, really affordable. It was like $10 for a brand new sweatshirt. And it was like $14 for a fake leather jacket. This has also been here forever, that hat. Um, maybe you guys and girls remember Stephen Berry's. I know they were mostly in the Northeast. They were in big malls. So you'd, you'd find it like, for me, it was at Manhattan Mall. That was on what, 33rd Street? It was all the way on the roof or the top floor. It was it was huge. It was probably the size of this store. All right, pretty cool. I just found this. They just put it out. Nice older. What the heck? This is this is a mistaken ass. What the heck are the late cap late, late caps? Los Angeles late caps. It's supposed to say Lakers. It must be an error. It is a logo seven sweatshirt. What the heck? Can you see this says Lakers right here. They just misspelled it. I've never seen that. That's I want to be one of the only people in the world who own this. Probably one of the only person to ever own this. Oh man, shorts. Start make a comeback. It's almost that time of the year, short season. I don't even think I bought any jeans this year. They're wearing the same six pairs throughout the whole winter. Mixing a khaki pair every once in a while, but khakis in Pennsylvania in the middle of winter. Not really fashionable, but I made it fashionable. Uh-oh, I think we did it again, folks. Let's see what we're looking at. This thing's kind of beat. Uh, can we see the little cow or not? Yep, no, I meant the bull, not the cow. I can kind of see them. Can you guys see them? No, definitely can't see them on camera. It does not look clear at all. Um, kind of hard to hold a camera and show you guys, so I'm going to try my best. Where my thumb is. You might be able to see my thumb. The tip of my thumb. You might see a crease that goes from kind of, well, I'll do it this way. Now it goes straight up. You can't see anything. What am I talking about? Anyway, he's there. You just really have to punch in these numbers to see, but this is a hard to hide glove, and it's only $4. So not really worth a lot with this condition, but it's like easily, like I can list it there for 40 bucks, and it's gonna sell within probably 20 minutes. So I'm going to buy it. I wish I can, wish I can show you easier, but this is just not showing up on camera at all. I can barely see it in person. It didn't really dawn on me until I actually typed in, or I read the numbers, AR3, it's Alex Rodriguez uh, model. But you can see what it is, brand new, 335 used. There's none lower than 185, and that one right there, this one looks destroyed. It's $185, it's the cheapest you can buy it for on eBay. 195 is the other one so maybe get a little bit more than 30 or 40 bucks for it i was just going based off of any typical hard to hide model but not a bad find it's actually the second time i found a good quality glove here i found one I found one probably about six months ago i found two here so we scored huge i don't I might be able to get a hundred bucks for it, maybe realistically 60 to 80. That's my idea, but it's possible to get a hundred. It's in rough shape. There's damage on the inside, but the glove is still good. All right. Well, finished up thrift store thing. It's got a couple items, which was nice. Got to find my gloves in here. Here they are. Kind of smells like a, uh, say a water container. I was going to take these out, I think. I figure out what kind of... Like screw thing I need. Uh, or hex nut. Take those out. Knock those out real quick. I think that should be my plan of attack. Right, now. I got to go to the, uh, the scrapyard because I'm going to trash pick in the morning. So, um... Well, I take this stuff out to do trash picking things because I need an empty van. So, that's kind of the plan of attack right now. But these ballast... Weigh a decent amount, so I want to uh, take them out at least.
So it looks like that one's actually a different size from this one, but it should come out with ease. Oh, that was pretty easy. And this should just essentially slide out. No, it won't slide out. It's got to go up and down. There we go. All right. Now I just need to clip this, and then I have a clean ballast to get these. I didn't... I don't know. I'm going to get those out. Those are not the same size, so now i got to go inside and get a different size. This thing really does have a significant amount of weight to it. I never really looked into taking these things apart for scrap value. Uh, I just break it in as you see it, because I think it gets pretty messy with what's inside these ballasts also don't get paid a lot of money for these things but i do like that whole aspect of taking things apart making a little bit more money as well as kind of um i don't know inventory management so to speak so we got two right there that is sheet copper i'm not taking that in so i'm taking some of this aluminum but, uh so that's good this is all wire so I'm gonna make a little bit of money here. That's got some weight to it. I've been really clipping a lot of cords. Um, actually, I have a couple more pieces of coffee makers over here, which I found recently in the scrap or recently in the trash. It's funny because they're coffee makers, but they're missing a the coffee pot. This one, I don't think that's a coffee maker. Cut off these. Cut off this. Probably a lot easier to do stuff with two hands. This guy will get thrown in there. I guess I had to still take the ballast off that other one. Um, this will get thrown in there. I'll throw it our piece. This guy's got to get tossed. It's just a piece of plastic. That garbage can. I believe this is actually aluminum. All these, uh, so this wire, when you take off the ends, you get clean, uh, clean, uh, uh, insulated wire price. You just have to take off the end pieces of these extension cords. This is more like your television wire. Um, or I think it's, I guess it's television wire, not internet wire. This stuff, however, is really just junk, and uh, you can throw this on the light iron pile, but it's not uh, it's not copper on the inside, so they don't take it like that. Even though it is essentially wire, it's just not the same kind of wire, and that's more of that stuff. Throw this in there. This is garbage. That in there. I think we should be pretty much good to go. This is garbage, I think. That's garbage. I do like how my garbage men will just take will take trash if it's just in a trash can like this. Like they'll just drag the trash can out and dump it. I don't have to put everything into a garbage bag. It makes it really easy. I also don't overload these trash cans. I could go all the way to the top, but rather than overload like three trash cans, I just half load like five. Uh, that way they're not really just like hauling around really heavy stuff. I guess it's more work maybe, but I don't know. I'd rather do five trash cans at 20 pounds a piece than do two or three at 40 pounds or 50 pounds. To me, it just makes more sense. Okay, all ready to go. I got all these and I take out all these little clips that were in it, but I went ahead and did that yesterday when it was nice out. I had nothing else to do, surprisingly. Um, it wasn't too much of a pain. Actually, it's pretty easy with just pliers, but I do every single one on both sides. It took a little bit of time. But yeah, that's, uh, that's all clean aluminum now, which is nice. I don't know what's really there, but in terms of price value, however, it's all sorted and clean, as they say. A school bus in for scrap. It's 
very good possibility they got that in for scrap. Oh my goodness, light iron power. Oh, they got shopping carts. Someone dropped off. Or they got a contract for shopping carts. There's a lot over there. Wow. I always shock this guy who works here whenever I show up this late in the afternoon because usually I come here like almost right when they open. I'm not that guy who waits around from to open, but I come within like the first 20 minutes of them opening and now I'm here at uh, two o'clock in the afternoon. It's a little bit different because they close in like two hours. Oh, I didn't even check if this was aluminum. It looks like it's aluminum. Some kind just like banking that it is, but I didn't know if a magnet, it looks like aluminum. For people who might be new, the magnet trick. Do I have, oh, I have two over here. So where do I put that over there? I'm gonna take this. The magnet trick is just determining if this is steel or a non-ferrous metal. If it's a non-ferrous metal, it will not stick. And um, then you just kind of have to know based off what it looks like and the color of it and you know what's the grade of it to know what kind of metal it is. I just know this is aluminum just because it's the color of aluminum. And the only other thing it would possibly be would be stainless, but it's not stainless because I know it's aluminum. So that's just a learning curve. Stainless usually is a little bit, it's harder to flex. Like this, I can easily bend as you see. And uh, it's a little bit more like a silver color rather than a white color. Generally a lot shinier also. That's just experience though see if he can see me. I don't want to just park there without him knowing that I'm here. But I'm going to probably park in between all this mess. That's going to be probably... Ooh. I would, ooh. Hate for something to roll down and hit me or hit my van. Could probably honk, but sometimes I feel like honking's a little rude. I don't think they really care. Huh. Yeah, I mean, why else would a school bus be at a scrapyard? I don't think they're doing any day lessons here. Might be, but I don't think they are. Uh, 42 smackarooskies. Not too bad. That wire came out to $14 for that big bucket of wire. Sometimes I ask myself, is it really worth it to sit there and clip the cords off every single thing to make $14? Uh, but I enjoy doing it and it feels good to kind of do the whole recycling thing, at least in my mind. You say here and just say monetary reasons of this and that, $14 for the amount of work I probably put into clipping little cords off. That's for you to decide. But 14 bucks for that is pretty good. And I got $6 and like uh, 80 cents or so. Oh man, now oh, that's a scrap guy. <laughs> that was another scrap guy. That's the guy from, uh, I forgot his name, but I know him from town. And he watches the YouTube videos. I drive by his house. Usually tomorrow's trash picking episode. All right, tomorrow's trash. Well, the next day I go trash pick, aka tomorrow, would be the town that that guy lives in. And I drive by his house, and I can kind of determine based on how much scrap metal is out based off what's in the back of his truck. Because I know he goes out for the night shift, and I do the morning shift. All right, so that's going to conclude today's fun endeavors. Hopefully you guys had an awesome week. Uh, been very nice and warm here uh, for the past week or so, week and a half. I know it's going to get a little bit chilly next week, but... What are you going to do, right? It's February. We got kind of spoiled uh, the past couple of days. So thanks for tagging along for another wonderful adventure. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe down below. Like I said, trash picking should be a next adventure. Should be a next treasure hunt going back to that town. We found a bunch of cool things in the past. And uh, stay tuned for that. Should be fun. Catch you guys next time for next adventure. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.